this is Sao Damini and I am a design consultant at RAV Interiors. At RAV, we are famous for curating more than 3000 projects in and around Bangalore and all over Karnataka. We as a firm are one of the top 10 designers in Bangalore and we take end-to-end -end turnkey projects. Today, we are at an independent house that belongs to Mr. Shiv Kumar and Ms. Vidyavati. This house has been located at Ullal and let us see how beautifully this house has turned out. The entire house has been designed in a subtle tone and let us go one by one to see how beautifully this house has turned out. Okay, this is a 4 BHK independent house comprising of 3 floors. Let us go one by one and curate each layout. We are now at the entrance of the house. The entrance of this beautiful house was a puja room. To highlight the same, we have given a foyer area design where we have given beveled mirrors in the ends and a complete louver design embedded with lighting to give a very rich look to anybody who enters the house. Now, let us see the living and the TV area. We are now at the living area of the house. This living area is an epitome of subtle luxury. Here, for the fall ceiling, we have opted to go for a two-step curved spheral ceiling that blends with the overall theme. For the sofa, we have gone for a grey toned sofa and to highlight it even more, we have opted to go for a wallpaper that blends overall with the theme. Here, to highlight the wallpapers even more, we've also gone for a wooden beading that blends perfectly with the puja and the TV unit. Let us now see the TV area. We are now at the TV area of the house. Since the TV area was under the staircase, it was essential to cover the entire space. Here, we've opted to go for a combination of wood and white that blends perfectly with the puja and the living backdrop. For the bottom, we've given drawers that can completely conceal all your wires and other important storage items. Towards the complete end, we've given a long storage cabinet embedded with a profile door where you can keep your artifacts and other important items. Towards this side, we've again given panelling that completely blends with the overall entrance of the living room. This entire TV unit not only gives a subtle look but also a very luxurious look. One more highlighting feature of the living space is this beautiful bay window seater. For the bay window seater, we've given panelling surrounding the entire bay window and we've also given adequate strip lights to highlight the entire space. Here, at least two to three people can sit and watch TV while having a beautiful view of the outside. Now, let us see the puja room. We are now at the puja room of the house. Puja is one of the most vital elements in any independent house. Like I said before, the side of the puja room, we have given a perfect foyer area design that blends with the overall theme. Towards this side, we have a very traditional yet contemporary design for the puja room. The puja room has been adorned with the combination of wood and glass. Here, our client has opted to go for a teak wood door and to match it with the same, we have given laminates of the similar finish where it blends effortlessly with the overall design. As soon as we open the puja room door, the first element that catches her eye is this beautiful onyx. Onyx gives a very resonating look to the entire space. Here, we have opted to go for a complete marble-like structure for the entire puja room space to give a divine and eternal look. To highlight the puja room even more, we have given wooden panelling embedded with warm lights that completely blends with the overall theme. To highlight this even more, we have given a glass countertop on the top of the ceiling so that natural skylight can enter directly from the ceiling. One more highlighting feature is that since according to Vasu, you shouldn't keep storage below the puja, we have given an adequate storage over here where you can keep your battis and other items and this also acts like the perfect place to do puja for your tulsi pot. Now, let us go to the kitchen area. Before entering the dining area, the first element that catches our eye is the beautiful panelling over here. This panelling separates the dining to the living area. As soon as we go to the dining area, one of the highlighting features is the under staircase unit. Towards both the sides of the staircase, we had adequate amount of space, hence we have given storage either ways. Here, we have given a complete storage unit where you can keep your oils and other medical items over this side and towards that side, again given a complete black and glass combination of doors where you can keep artifacts. Towards this side of the living, we also have a lift that is perfect for anybody to commute easily. One more highlighting feature is that under the staircase, we have also done a photo wall which can be viewed from all directions. Now, let us see the vanity and the dining area. Before entering the kitchen, the first element that catches our eye is the beautiful long countertop over here. For the breakfast counter, we have given a combination of marble and grey. Towards the bottom, we have given a marble laminate, again blending with the vanity. And to highlight this white and grey texture, we have also given louvers over here, blending with the overall theme of the house. Now, let us enter the kitchen. We are now at the kitchen area of the house. 
One of the biggest highlighting feature of this beautiful kitchen is that we have gone for a very unusual type of hob and chimney. Here we have gone for a floating chimney concept so that anybody who enters the kitchen can beautifully see the long countertop. One person can easily cook over here while one more can cut vegetables over there as if giving an illusion of a breakfast counter. Again, this large counter space is perfect while you're cooking a lot of items and a big hanging chimney over here is again perfect for cooking and other items. This hanging chimney also gives a perfect beautiful view for anybody entering the kitchen. Any modular kitchen has important items like a two tandem, three tandem and a bottle puller. This long three tandem drawers have the perfect place to keep your cutlery, spoons and thalis. Towards the complete end, we also have a bottle pull out to keep your oil, sugars and other items. One more highlighting feature which is very important is that here we have included the granite to go completely towards the bottom. So any kind of water leakage will be avoided. This entire kitchen has been designed in the combination of gothic grey and light grey that completely blends with the overall design giving a rich look to the entire house. Towards this side we have two tandem drawer units again sufficient to keep your bigger kadais and vessels. One more highlighting feature of this beautiful u-shaped kitchen is the wall units. If you see over here you opted to go for glass doors for all these wall units again so that any important items like spices can be visible through the sheer glass. One more highlighting feature for any modular kitchen is open units. Having a long open unit space, you can keep all your spices and important items that you regularly use. For these open units, we have given strip lights that gives a very luxurious look to the entire space. This entire kitchen also has black handles, again blending with the granite and the overall theme of the house. One more element of this house is that our client has opted to go for a rotating sink that completely blends with the overall theme and this sink again beautifies the entire space and making cleaning easy. Again, a small element that helps the functionality of the kitchen is that we've given an open unit over here embedded with granite. So any type of utensils can be easily transferred to the utility. One of the other highlight and many important items in a kitchen is a tall unit. In this house, we have not one but two tall units. Here, we've given a long tall unit with a complete long edge handle where you can keep all your grocery items. This tall pantry unit also has accessories segregated so perfectly to keep a lot of storage items that you regularly use at home. Towards this side, we have one more tall unit where you can keep a microwave in the center, wicker baskets below to keep your onion, potatoes and other items and complete on the top, we have again an extra storage area. This complete kitchen has an L-shaped loft giving enough amount of sufficient storage for the beautiful kitchen. Now let us see the dining area. We are now at the dining area of the house. For the dining area, we again opted to go for a very subtle and elegant fall ceiling design that gives a lot of lighting to the entire space. One more highlighting feature of this dining area is that the back wall of the dining area has been beautifully designed to give a subtle look but with a twist. Here, this is a storage room space so we wanted to cover the entire storage room space to make it look seamless and blending perfectly with the kitchen. As soon as we open the door, you can see that we have a complete storage room inside that is completely concealed with the beautiful lure system over here. One more highlighting feature is that whenever you have a dining area, you also need a vanity to wash your hands. This house also has a beautiful vanity area that blends again with the kitchen design. Again, a sensor mirror is a must in the vanity area and our client has opted to go for a three touch sensor mirror that blends with the overall theme. Now let us go to the second floor and see the master bedroom and the kids bedroom. After seeing the living and dining in the first floor, we are now in the second floor which has the master bedroom and the kids bedroom. We are now at the master bedroom area. This master bedroom is an epitome of elegance and beauty. Here we opted to go for a very subtle colour of greenish grey that blends perfectly giving a very calming vibe for the entire room. Behind the bed we have given a panelling and louvers that blend perfectly with the overall theme and also highlights the plush bed over here. Next to the bed also lies a sliding wardrobe and towards the side of the sliding wardrobe we've given open units so you can keep your toys, books or other important items. This room has a lot of storage yet the room looks very spacious. Towards this side the sliding wardrobe again is in the combination of greenish grey and white blending with the overall theme. Towards that end we have again a wardrobe space that blends perfectly with this since that was a niche area and also the southwest corner which is the Kubera Mola space we have given enough amount of storage to incorporate heavy items over there. Above the storage we have also given loft that completely blends with the overall theme and covers the niche area. 
Again, to give an elegant look to the entire space, our client has opted to go for a very subtle fall ceiling that gives a very warm look to the space. One more highlighting feature which is very essential in any master bedroom is having side tables. Side tables are the perfect place to keep your phones and other important items and also an additional amount of storage below so you can keep your specs and other important daily necessary items. Now let us see the study area. We are now at the study area. For this study area, we have given a long tall unit where you can keep your books and important items and documents. Next to the tall unit, we have given an L-shaped study which is perfect for a person to just sit, work and also a sufficient amount of storage space to keep your printers and other important items. Above the L-shaped study, we have again given a wall unit with sufficient amount of lighting that acts like the perfect ambient look for you while you are working. Now let us go to the walk-in space. We are now at the walk-in area space. Here, again, we've given sufficient amount of storage in the combination of greenish grey and white. For the shutters, we've gone for glossy finish that blends with the overall theme. For the handles, we've given long black handles that blend perfectly with the overall theme. Again, we've also given a long dressing unit where one person can easily dress up and we've given storage behind that too. Below that, we've given side tables, again, sufficient to keep your important items, blow dryers and electrical items. Next to that, we've also given a long storage item, again to keep your daily used clothes or other important items that you usually don't want to keep in the wardrobe. This entire space has been beautifully utilized so that the entire area looks spacious yet the perfect way for you to dress up while you come out of the washroom. Now let us go to the kids area. After seeing the master bedroom, we are now at the kids bedroom. This entire kids bedroom has been designed in the combination of mellow rose white and a little bit of rose gold. This entire room gives a very subtle, soft and charming look to the entire space. Let us go one by one. Okay. Behind me lies the bed as well as the study. Here for the bed we have opted to go for a beige cream combination and to highlight the bed even more we have opted to go for a very subtle florally pink wallpaper that blends with the overall theme. Next to the plush bed lies the study unit which is perfect for our little one to just sit, study and also keep all her storage over here. Above the wall unit we have given a loft again to keep your excess amount of books. One more highlighting feature is that we have given adequate lighting over here so our kid can study with the appropriate lighting. We are now at the bay window area of the kids room. This entire bay window has been beautifully utilized by giving a long panel and cushioning that blends perfectly with the bed. Towards this side there was a niche area. To highlight the niche area and to use optimum storage we've given complete shelves with lights where our kids can keep her books, bags and other essential items that usually keep up a lot of storage space. This entire space has been beautifully utilized where it looks really spacious but also every element has been beautifully organized. Now let us go and see the walk-in wardrobe space. We are now at the walk-in area space. Since there was a niche area over here, we have given an L-shaped wardrobe where towards the utmost end we have given a dressing unit. As soon as you open the door of the room, the first thing that you can see is the mirror. This is very good according to Vastu. Or, and also we have given enough amount of storage behind the mirror to keep sufficient items like your creams, ointments and other items. Below the dressing unit we have also given a side table again to accommodate your blow dryers and other equipments that cannot fit inside the dressing unit. The complete L-shaped wardrobe has been designed in the combination of white, rose gold and mellow rose again blending with the overall theme. This gives a very soft and subtle look. This room also has an attached balcony with a niche area where we have utilized for an additional study space. Let me show you that. We are now at the niche area of the kids bedroom. Here there is an open to sky area and also a balcony. This niche area has been perfectly utilized by giving an additional study. What happens here is that you get adequate amount of lighting and it also acts like a private area for you to work. Because whenever you want to work, where there are less people around you, you can always close the curtains and have your meetings. This setup also gives an again additional storage space that is required in a kids bedroom. 
In the entrance of the kids bedroom, the first element that catches our eye is this beautiful niche area where we have adorned it with glass shelves where you can keep artifacts and other items. To highlight it furthermore, we have given a rose wallpaper again blending with the overall theme. This wallpaper, the entire room has been customized perfectly to curate the best looks for your little one. One more important yet functional element of this room is that since it was a kids room, it's difficult for the kids to lift the hydraulic beds. So we have gone for drawers in the bed that can be very essential and easy to access for any little one. Now let us go to the top floor and see the guest room and the spare room. We are now at the guest bedroom of the house. This entire guest bedroom has been designed in a very soft and subtle tone. Here we have gone for a combination of light blue and white. Behind the bed lies a beautiful floral blue and white backdrop that blends perfectly with the wardrobe and the long study. The study has sufficient storage to keep your books, pens and other items and at least two people can sit and work over here. This pleasant room also has a beam and we've also given a panelling over here to highlight the entire space. The wardrobe also has a very subtle look by blending perfectly with the study as well as the wallpaper. This entire room is spacious, elegant and very charming. To add a further more subtle look to the space, we've also opted to go for a peripheral lighting over here. The peripheral fall ceiling blends perfectly with the overall theme. Now let us see the spare room. We are now at the spare room of the house. Here, since there was a niche area, we've given a subtle wardrobe in the combination of grey and white. One more highlighting feature is that even the handles is in the combination of grey and black. We have now come towards the end of this beautiful home tour video. This beautiful 4 BHK house has been designed so beautifully that every area has been covered yet making it look very spacious. Let me know in the comment section below which part of the house was your favourite one. If you want your house to be designed in a similar manner, do contact RAV and our complete details have been given in the description box below. This is Saudamini signing off. We'll see you in the next home tour video.